now I'd like to move on to um, a little bit more advanced sequencer operations. Now, coming up, you're going to be doing some more labs that are going to be more time-based. We're going to be doing a sequential tail light, and then in your final, you're also going to be doing a stop or a stop light. Okay, so these are all sequences that are on a time base. So how can we make a sequence move um, every so often or every every set amount of seconds, right? So it's actually pretty simple to do. All we've done is we've replaced, remember we used to have a push button over here on our rung one that would turn our sequencer or would move our sequencer step through step, okay? Instead of doing that, we have a free running timer right up here. On our free running timer, we have an on off switch. This is a latching button. You could easily go ahead and put a push button in here if necessary. Um, all you'd have to do is do a little drop down around it with a EN or uh, an EN bit to latch it on whenever the, uh, the whenever the timer gets started. Okay, so remember how free running timer works is it's we're gonna have a path of true, and every time the timer is done, it's gonna break the path of true, causing the timer to reset which again makes a path of true. So every two seconds is what I have my preset to. It's going to reset this timer, okay? So meaning every two seconds, our done, our done bit down on the second rung here will go on and then off, causing our sequencer to move one step further along. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and download and we're gonna see this in action. And then I'm gonna show you some adjusting, uh, a little bit of adjustability that we can do to kind of do some neat or cool things, okay? Okay, so right now it is turned off. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my on switch on, and our free timer, our free running timer is going. Notice that it is clicking through the positions over here. It is clicking through them, okay? If I was going down to my, my lab here, I've got it going on, and it's just turning on each light every two seconds. Okay, that's, and that's pretty much it. All we're doing is we have a time base. So now let's talk about some of the other stuff we could do. If I was to go into my N7 file and I went to binary, let's say I needed one bit to, let's go ahead and I'm actually gonna turn these all back to zeros first. That way we can kinda talk about it and I can show some differences. Okay, okay. Should have that cleaned out for you guys, huh? Okay. All right, so now let's say I'm running through my program and I want this, I wanna have bit one and bit two on, or let's say I have, I wanna have bit one on for four seconds and then I wanna have bit two on for one se or two seconds and then I want bit three to be on for four seconds, okay? So think about that. So instead of having, um, Instead of coming in here and having our program run right to the next step, we're gonna have two steps that are identical, okay? So instead of bit or this, this uh, the word one right here turned on for two seconds, it's now turned on for four seconds. And then I'm gonna jump over to my next one. It's gonna turn on for two seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this guy out. Let's go ahead and just change all these. Okay, so then my my number three bit, or I'm sorry, my number two bit here will turn on for exactly two seconds because I'm going off the time base over here on my timer. So this is two seconds on. Then I'm gonna come over here, put this one on for two seconds, and then I want to stay on for another two seconds. It's gonna go like this. So now I've got a timer that's gonna turn a light on for four seconds, two seconds, four seconds. Different lights, okay? So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna go ahead and we just pretty much need to run it now because it's just gonna look at the words, okay? So this one's gonna stay on for four seconds. Then we're gonna go to two seconds. Then this one's gonna be on for four seconds. All right, so that should hopefully help you guys as you're moving through some of these next few labs. The sequential tail light is gonna be almost that identical setup, but maybe a little bit different. And then when we get to the stoplight, it's gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit more intense because you're gonna be turning on multiple, um, multiple lights at one time. So go ahead and move on. I hope this helps you and clears up any questions you have about running a sequencer with a time base. Good luck.